Oh, what's going on here? What's up with you? You're on. Yeah, smoke. What the hell? Oh, is it because of the water? It should be generating enough water. Yeah, it is. Like, I'm confused here, shouldn't it? It should have more water. We like overclock this just a little bit until we get enough water in here. But you're not getting enough fuel. Oh, right. I need to do the, uh, what's it called? Uh, change the miner from MK1 to MK2. That's the problem. Just not getting enough. Yeah, these are MK ones. Let's go ahead and change that up. The equipment workshop is all the way over there, so. Not gonna bother. Switches to MK2s. Uh, we shouldn't have to overclock it. Oh, these are also MK1s. We need to change that up as well. Then once we get these online, we should have enough for all of these. What the hell? Uh, guys? Um, what happened to my bull? <laughs> what the hell just happened? I'm confused. Now, do I need to, like, reconnect you or something? Line up with this already. Alright, so reconnect this. Alright, so let's just go ahead, reconnect this. I'm not understanding this. Like, what the hell is going on? Nothing's being produced. Oh, shit. It was this line supposed to connect. Cut that off. Just so that everything else can run. Alright, there we go. And one other thing I want to do is do this, except, well, don't have the staters like 
I got rid of that, I believe. So. Let me get back to base. Uh, I do want to set up a place for some power storage. Just gotta make sure it's like everything's running smoothly. Or that's running intermittently. It's probably because of the lack of coal here. Yeah, probably need to fix this first. Let's see what the problem is over here. Wait, wait, what was that? We see this. Am I missing something here? Or does that just need to build up like a stockpile? Like, does this coal thing... Okay, that has a full stack. That has a full stack. So it probably just needs to build this stuff up. And it's slowly gonna get there, I think. Five eighty six five. Yeah, it's building it, it's building up. So, but it doesn't explain this one. Twenty four, B twenty four. 25. It's hitting 26. It's 26 over here. And my cursor. Okay, so it just needs time to work and build up. And then once this is full, it'll fall into here and here. Okay, I think we're good. Yeah, more production than consumption. So we can reconnect this now. Oh shit. There we go. Consumption is at 2,000. Production should be... 600, 2,400. But that's going to have to wait until all of that coal builds up. So, okay. We're good. You need to think about power storage because we're gonna need to like charge these batteries have some excess just so we can have a little bit more time to work on stuff before we come down here and do this again except probably not gonna do it again here because this is pretty much maxed out but in any case we now have lots of power I'm just clearing these trees just because. I shouldn't look at the explosions.
Anyway, this is still going. Oh, this is going. I did uh, overclock these things. Except. Well, what's going on here? Maybe it's not just not producing enough, so I do need to replace these miners. Maybe I should just put... have like a permanent equipment workshop here, and another crafting bench like right here. Let's make two more of these. We don't need to upgrade the lines just yet. And that should be it. Uh, we'll double check this. Yeah, it's fine. So this will be saturated. And then these will start producing more. That's 30 per minute. So it still won't be completely saturated, but at least we'll have some more production for the iron rods. And that means we'll be getting the modular frames at a faster rate. I need to get rid of this rock. And this tree. All right, there we go. So anyway, let's see how much we have here. Like eventually we do need to bring this into the factory as well. But first, what I want to do is get the automation for the automated wiring. Get that done first. And maybe I can also bring like connect the production of the reinforced iron plates over to our modular frames. I think that's the only thing that needs like reinforced iron plates. But anyway. Stators, there's the cables. Oh yeah, one other thing. Maybe I should just use like a storage over there just so that this continues to produce. I got a plan ahead. Like, I wanted to continue producing those cables. Station. You know what? I kind of want lots of this, so... Do this. I also need the stuff back on my hotbar. Make sure this just keeps producing. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Dump all of those cables out. It's gonna take a while. That's okay. At the very least, we're storing up all those cables instead of just leaving it there and letting them sit idle. Let's head back to the factory. 
Uh oh. Oh, we can go through that. All right. So this rock is going to be a problem, but I don't think I'll be building anything here in particular. Anyway, what I'm thinking of doing is let's just build the wall right over here, just around this factory. Just so that this thing can't be gassing me while I'm in the factory. Okay, now we need to bring the staters over here, so I'm thinking... Uh... You know what? Let's... Build the second floor already. B. Because this way... If I do it like this, I'll be able to... Use the ceiling things. Just put a wall like so, and there we go. Then this way we'll be able to use. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I use a conveyor ceiling mount. I've never used one of these before, so it's gonna be awesome. So, there is no, uh, zoop build mode. But I want to do it like this, just so that I can do this. There we go. Be nice and clean. Four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three. All right, so easy way to get the staters over there without really taking up floor space. And we just bring it down like so. Oh, jeez. I wanted you, uh, reversed. How do I do that again? Rotate, snap to guidelines, quick, quick switch. No, that's just for the different MKs. Like, how do I turn this around again? Oh, it's rotate. Oh, wait a minute, was it rotate? 
No, I pressed R. Toggle build. It's not rotate, it's R. Which the build modes. Anyway, I'm gonna put it like this. Put you like this. And eventually we'll probably have something else for the staters, but in the meantime, go ahead and get more of these going. Now we're going to make a lot of automated wiring, so I'm thinking maybe like nine of these. Oh, steel beams. We can't afford this. Uh, stock up and stuff. Now keep in mind, I still have storage over there, so it's just going to slowly refill this. Alright, back to the blueprints. Let's get some assemblers. Uh, I want you like right over here. Come on. Six. Nine. Yeah, maybe nine is good enough. Because I'm trying to remember in the last playthrough, I only had like six of these automated wiring things. And that's mainly because I was like starved for cables. So maybe this would be a good setup. Yeah, I should have enough distance. All right, let's connect this up. So the very first thing I build in my newly founded factory is the automated wiring. Because I've been building the more complicated, like, stuff elsewhere. Let's line this up. And you are locking on to this. Thank you. Oh, what the hell? Nope. No! Don't do that. Do an explosive. Fine. Let's just do that. Anyway. Go ahead and split this off. Okay, so we need to connect this to power. I probably should set the recipes first. This is going to be the automated wiring. But I also need to get the motors up and running. First, automated wiring. Now, even though we only need a hundred of these for this phase, we're going to need a lot of them. 
And I say that having trouble with the automated wiring in the last playthrough. Like, it's actually the first thing that went into uh, building the products for Phase 4. Like, the first products that uses the automated wiring. Like, I started getting that into the space elevator first. And then, it was also the last product that finished because I was just extremely starved for automated wiring. So, that's why I wanted to, like make as much as possible because everything else seems like it's gonna go like fairly smoothly once I get everything automated. It's just this thing that needs lots of it. And then I'm also gonna have a merger like right here. I'm also gonna put down some storage. Like I said, I want lots and lots and lots of these. So this is how it's going to be. Yeah, maybe I'll have like... Can I put it on the ceiling? Actually, no, I can't. There's like no ceiling outlets or anything like that. So let's do it like this. have like power going this way somewhere put the double wall outlets like somewhere here or actually there's one right here already See if we can connect this over yes we can Fifty, hundred, hundred, fifty. 450. We need production of 450 cables per second to fully saturate all of these. Like, I don't need... even need... know how many staters we're producing. We need 2.5, 7.5, 15, 22.5. Like, do we even have that many staters coming in? I really don't know. Oh, either way, there's our automated wiring. Jeez, this is exhausting, but also really exciting that I finally have this going. Oh, and before I forget, we need our staters. We need to put down some uh, power storage somewhere. Yeah, and we have plenty of, like, steel pipes. We need to be doing something with that. And real quick, let's check this out. So we're producing 5 per minute. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So more than enough for staters, but we also need them for motors. So we're probably going to have to increase the production of this as well somehow. 